Novak Djokovic versus Carlos Alcaraz is the final of Wimbledon for 2023. And both guys have been super impressive to get to the final. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number two seed and will take on Cashin in the first round. There's no problem for Nole, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3, 7-6. In the second round, he take on Thompson. And again, no problem for Nole, getting through in straights, 6-3, 7-6, 7-5. In the third round, he take on Stan Bavrinka. But Djokovic was on another level on grass, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-1, 7-6. In the fourth round, he take on the number 17 seed, Hubi Hercatch. After saving set points in the first set, Djokovic would fight back to win 7-6, 7-6, 5-7, 6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number 7 seed, Rublev. But after dropping the first set, Djokovic would have to fight back to win 4-6, 6-1, 6-4, 6-3 to advance to another Wimbledon semi-final. In the semi-final, Djokovic would take on the number 8 seed, Sinner, who hadn't played a seeded player all week. And it showed with Djokovic destroying him in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4, 7-6 to advance to another Wimbledon final. Algaris started the tournament off as the number one seed and would take on Shardy in the first round. There's no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straights. Six love, six two, seven five. In the second round, he'd take on Muller. And again, no problem for Alcaraz getting through in straights. Six four, seven six, six three. In the third round, he'd take on the 25th seed, Jarry. And after a couple of close sets, Alcaraz would eventually prevail in four. Six three, six seven, six three, seven five. In the fourth round, he'd take on Berrettini, the former Wimbledon finalist who had just taken out Diminor and Zverev along the way. And after dropping the first set, Alcaraz would fight back to win. 3-6, 6-3, 6-3, 6-3 to we'll advance to another Grand Slam quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number six seed, Runa. And after a close first set, Alcaraz would get through in three, 7-6, 6-4, 6-4 to advance to another Grand Slam semifinal. In the semifinals, Alcaraz would take on the number three seed, Medvedev, who had just come off a five-set epic against Eubanks in the previous round. Alcaraz destroyed Medvedev tactically, winning in straight, 6-3, 6-3, 6-3 to advance to his second Grand Slam final. These guys have played twice before with their only Grand Slam match being at the French Open a month ago. Of course, Elkris cramped in the third set, so we didn't get to see both guys at full level for the entire match. Djokovic won that one. But this is a grass court, and they've never played outside of the clay court, so this is going to be different to what we've seen so far. Djokovic is going to win this one. He needs to serve well. He didn't have to play that well against Sinner. Sinner was way below his normal level, but against guys like Rublev and Hercatch, Djokovic's serve was the big key, especially against Hercatch. He was serving so well then, so he needs to serve well, and of course, he needs to get those ground strokes back. Valkyrie is going to win this one. He needs to bring the variety. Medvedev played so poorly against Alcaraz. He didn't force him to do much. But we did see the drop shot a few times against Medvedev. He's going to have to do that and much more if he's going to beat Djokovic. What a matchup. It was such a hype match at the French Open. We're so lucky to get it so quickly after that. I didn't think we'd see this until the hardcore season. But I'm going to have Djokovic to win this one in five. I have to go with the experience on grass over Alcaraz in this one. And I also picked Djokovic to win the whole thing. So I'm going to stick with that one. But man, if Alcaraz beats Djokovic, watch out. Tennis world will change. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.